Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the six. So this is the new moon, new moon, and the day uh, Uranus goes into Taurus. So it's a pretty powerful day. Um, we're just going to see what I can pick up on for a message today. This may or may not be for you. You never know. Just going to get an overall energy with this card. For my viewers. For my tribe. What do we got for the people that watch me? I think that's it, don't you? <laughs> oh, Ace of Cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, interesting, new love perhaps, there could be a new start in love, it could start with yourself, okay, also your dreams, pay attention to your dreams, okay, the overall energy of the day, it's all about love, it is, it's all about love, it always has been, some people have forgotten. New start in love. Beautiful. Absolutely. Compassion. Day of compassion. Perhaps empathy even. Maybe unconditional love. Either way, love is on the mind, right? What is love? Today's a day about following your heart. What does your heart want? What does your heart need? There's no rush. There's no rush. There's no hurry. Knight of Swords reversed. There's no hurry. Love is patient. Four of Swords. Take your time. You, you can, I mean, that's the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. You can take it whenever you want, but right now it's a period of figuring out, right? It's a period of figuring out what your, what your heart wants, what you deserve, where you're going. It's a time of introspection. It's a time of going within and allowing yourself to feel and perhaps become one with yourself so that you, you know, you can love yourself fully enough so that you can accept new love. This is a time of solitude, perhaps, going within and thinking about love. Love is definitely at the forefront, there's no doubt. <laughs> oh my goodness, the lovers, the lovers. I'm telling you what, it's all about love today. There's, there could be an unexpected uh, choice coming in, an unexpected offer coming in, something that you didn't expect to happen and you have to make a decision on the fly. This is also a card of love heals. Somebody could be coming in to help you heal from a you know, hurtful situation. Maybe you're in no rush. All of a sudden you meet eye to eye with somebody who, you know, gives you butterflies. 
could be a soulmate. This is a union. So somebody is really, really... going to be forced with some... Going to be for, not forced or... Well, let me think of the word. Um, my mind has gone blank. Shocked. Shocked, perhaps. With an opportunity that is presented to them. I think there's a... There's a um, I mean, this is Cupid. This is Cupid. It's like Cupid is bringing two people together out of the blue... And it's, it's kind of like, it's something you have prayed for, perhaps. You're in no hurry for it. All of a sudden, it's here. It's here. Looking at you. And it could be irresistible. It could be something that makes you feel like, I can't even resist this. Because this is an unexpected choice. Now, now when the lover's card comes up, it usually, to me, it means that it's, it's somebody that you totally, totally, totally do not expect. So expect the unexpected. It's Mercury retrograde. There's so much going on right now. The hangman reversed. This is coming out of limbo, coming out of suspension, getting unstuck. Somebody has been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and going through a period of solitude, going through a period of perhaps enlightenment, and it's, it's over. There's no more waiting. It's time. It's time. It's time to meet their match. So, okay. Page of Pentacles reversed. You may lose your focus. You may be distracted. You, you may feel distracted when this happens. You may feel like you don't even know what to do. You may have a level of confusion. You may have a level of being uh, uncomfortable. You know, you may feel like, oh my God, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I, I didn't plan on this. There, this, this. This wasn't planned. I was in no hurry. Something is going to happen unexpectedly that you did not expect that may throw you, you know, off course, may, may make you feel like that this isn't what I thought. This isn't what I planned. This isn't, it's totally un, um, okay, my mind keeps going blank. Unpredictable. It's unpredictable. So interesting. You're going to need to focus. You are going to need to focus. It really feels like this is something that you've been praying for, but you may have been praying for something different. You may have been thinking, you know, it's not going to come for a long time or, you know... You may have been thinking that you knew exactly what this was. You don't. You don't know what this is. This is something that is unexpected, unpredictable. Um, it is something that you have been praying for subconsciously, maybe even consciously, but it's not what you think it is. You know what I'm saying? It's not what, you're, what you actually think it is. You may be seduced by somebody uh, unknowingly. You know what I mean? All of us. It's like this is. It's like sudden. It's sudden. There's this sudden attraction that throws you off kilter. That's what it looks like to me. Or there's this. There's this sudden coming together with somebody that you never expected. Interesting, huh? Somebody has been taking a break, but it's like Cupid says, oh, but they're right in front of you. They're right in front of you. Love is right in front of you. Oh, my God.
of a chariot. This could be a cancer. Now, this is moving forward. Forward movement, mastering emotions. Replacing fear with faith. This is a card of transformation. It's heading in the right direction. Facing opposition. Oh my goodness. I just want to get the rest of the cards. Getting ready. Getting ready for... It's like getting ready to play the game. <laughs> right here, too. It's like somebody's in, in this period of solitude. You're really getting ready because you're about to start playing. <laughs> you're about to start playing. So, oh my God. Ten of Wands reversed. This is breaking free. This is freedom. Releasing a heavy load. Not going to have to do it alone anymore. Oh my God. Eight of Wands. Something's going to happen quick. Communication is going to come in. Communication. Look at the butterflies. And didn't I say butterflies at the very beginning? Oh, I did. I really believe I did. If I didn't, I was thinking it. Somebody's going to feel butterflies. Look at the butterflies. There's going to be, uh, an, and it's going to happen suddenly. There's going to be an instant attraction. I don't know who this is for. I really don't. I really don't. I feel like there's going to be an instant attraction with somebody that's not your usual type. You're going to come into contact with this person out of the blue, and it's going to help you. It's going to help you in some way, and you did not, you totally did not expect it because you were in no rush. You were in no hurry. You're going through your time of reflection. You're going through your time of healing, you know. But it's like there's no need to um, stay in, in this period of suspension anymore. These are the rods of love. So it looks like all of a sudden love is here. And it's going to definitely throw you off kilter. It is. If you were focusing on something else, well, you're going to be faced with some opposition. You are going to be faced with It's like you're going to be just thrown right in the game. You're going to all of a sudden you're going to start playing. You're going to start playing the game. And you probably didn't think that you were going to start playing the game. But now you're in the game. And it's whatever this is, and maybe it's going to help because this is love heals somebody. And this is um, releasing a heavy burden, releasing, you know, the baggage, dropping something that doesn't serve you. So there could be somebody new that is coming into your life that is going to help you to totally drop that baggage of the past. Drop it, you know. To help you break free. To literally, you know, all of a sudden this, this person just takes all of your concentration. Because you're not going to be able to concentrate. It's all of a sudden it's just like, whew, past is gone. Dropped. You know what I mean? This person is going to help you to heal from whatever it is that you are still upset about. Oh, something that has kept you trapped. Something that has kept you mentally stuck. This person is probably going to help you to break free. They're going to help you to cut those cords and to take that mask off and to step outside of your comfort zone. They're going to help you to trust again. The time is now with these eights. The time is absolutely now. Let me make sure this is focused. I feel as though somebody... has been really trapped in a period of, of mental conflict, unable to completely start over, praying for their perfect match, praying for love, and all of a sudden, out of the blue, somebody is brought into your life that isn't, totally isn't what you expected. It wasn't what you thought. It doesn't happen the way you think any of that and you're thrown into this game and this game allows you to 
break free from the burdens of the past. So I feel like something is going to happen. This is very suddenly. Very suddenly there's going to be butterflies. There is. Very suddenly there's going to be butterflies that emerge within you out of the blue. So I don't know when. I don't know who. But things are going to move very, very quickly. Um, this person is not your usual type. Just saying they are not your usual type. You may try to fight it off even. You may try to, to, to fight it off because you feel like you're not ready. But when those butterflies are real, it's not something that you can fight off. It's not something that you can fight off. So I feel like we have, this is a completion. We have a completion of a very overwhelming period of conflict, a period of healing, you know, not that you're fully healed, but it's like the, the worst is over. Okay. The worst is over the time of, you know, resisting. It's like, you can't resist this. This is something it's like, it's irresistible. It is irresistible. You know, I really feel like somebody is going to receive some sort of messages that makes them their them their heart flutter. It makes them, you know, get butterflies. It helps them to get untrapped it it's it's an it's a message of love so somebody is receiving a message of love or they're actually coming into contact with somebody could have something to do with a, a oh god this is a vehicle this is a car it could you know it could have something to do with a vehicle it could have something to do with you know driving maybe you got to drive to this person or this person has to drive to you something this is a this is a the chariot is a vehicle so it could have something to do with a vehicle you know white and black whatever that means huh. somebody is moving forward after not being in a hurry it's like you're not in a hurry you're not thinking that you know you're not in a hurry you're you're working on yourself you're taking time to heal and recuperate and all of a sudden it's like boom the angels say here it is here it is this is the love that you asked for Six of Cups. You may have some sort of uh, feelings. You know, this this person may may uh, bring up memories. They may make you feel like you felt when you were a kid. Maybe this person uh, stirs up memories of what love really is, because this is memories of love. This person brings back your feelings of what love truly is. This person helps you to remember what love is. This could be somebody from your past that is messaging you. It could be it could be somebody new that you feel so familiar with. I mean, this whoever this person is that is coming in, it's definitely a soulmate. There's it's a soulmate connection. It is a soulmate connection. This person um is going to feel very very familiar to you and they're going to make you remember what love is they are you may know this person you may already know this person one more card three of swords oh my god there's been some pain here this is pain this is grieving this is loss this is this is definitely um, heartache suffering loss But it's going to go right here. So it's going to help you to end, to drop some of that pain. Because this is this is coming out. The hanged man standing up. That's, that's, 
getting unstuck. So I feel like Cupid or angels or whoever it is is bringing two people together. After a really painful situation, you know, there's been a lot of pain here. There's been a lot of suffering. There's been a lot of grieving. And I think that grieving period is just about over. Because somebody's coming in with an offer. They're coming in with an offer. And it's a big offer. Look at how big that cup is. It's a big offer. This person is a little uncertain. They're a little afraid that they'll be rejected, perhaps maybe because they've been hurt too. But it looks like their offer is going to be accepted. It's going to be accepted. So we definitely have, it looks to me like there's a, a union that is going to be coming together after a really painful time of being in limbo, being in suspension, waiting, waiting, waiting for love, waiting for this perfect match. I think the time of waiting, and I think this goes along with yesterday's reading, doesn't it? I think it does. I do. I think it's over because it's no longer, it's coming out. It's coming out of being stuck. I feel as though there's going to be some sort of definite message or movement. There's movement, okay? Big time. That is bringing somebody true love. It is. It is. It's love. It's true love. Somebody has been stuck and trapped in their own mind, trapped in their own thoughts. You know, and it looks like somebody's coming to break them free. I think that somebody is going to help you to break free of the mental anguish that you have been through. Now, I don't know who this reading is for. It's like all of a sudden you have to you have to suit up because you're in this game. Now you're in the game. Uh-oh. Look what just fell out. New love. And these aren't reversed. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here it comes. Are you ready? Are you? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Now, the honeymoon, this is a car. Perhaps you're going to travel. Perhaps you, you schedule a vacation with this person. Or this could lead to a marriage. Whatever this is. Maybe you take a little retreat with this new love to get to know this person. I don't know. Either way, it looks as though there's absolutely new love. I mean, I can't, I can't make that up. There's no doubt. There's new love here. So I don't know who this reading is for, but we have a new love connection that is totally unexpected and it looks to me like it's going to lead to victory and success there may be differences because there is opposition there is opposition there is but there's an ability to come together with ease if you just work together okay um there may be some little conflicts in the way. There may be some little conflicts. And I think those conflicts come from, from within. You know, feeling like, you know, I didn't expect this. You know, when you, when, you ha when you have something unexpected like this happen, it can really feel like your life is turned upside down. It's all part of the process. It really is. This is all happening to get somebody unstuck. And this is going to bring balance and harmony to your life. 
whatever this is, whoever this person is that, you know, you are coming together with. is going to, you know, you're both going to help each other. You're both going to help each other heal. I definitely feel like this is this person is going to feel very 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 familiar to you. Very familiar. This could be a past life connection. It really could. Be prepared. Be prepared to feel some butterflies. I don't know who with who. I don't. I think this is somebody that is new. It could be somebody from your past. could be somebody that you knew a long, long time ago. We have Cancer, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Gemini again, we have Pisces, we have, we have everybody, but that's who we have for cards. This is uh, brought to you from, from Cupid, you know, from the angels above, it is. You know, sixes, sixes is the journey to balance and harmony in your life. This person is going to help you to get your life back on track, and you're going to help them to get their life back on track. You're going to be faced with a decision. Are you ready to move forward? That lover's card is a choice. It is a decision. Are you ready? Because now you're presented with this opportunity for love. Do you want it or not? You may have to choose between the past and new love. You can, you because this is a card of consequences. You can choose to suffer and grieve the past forever, or you can accept new love. There's an opportunity for new love here with somebody that could be absolutely perfect for you, but they do not resemble the past they're not what you expect the choice is yours the choice is yours sixes are about choice the choice you have a choice here it's time are you ready to let go are you ready to drop the baggage are you because you have an opportunity for love here definitely good luck 